What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we got another sampling tutorial. What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials.com and get your subscription today. Now we're going to be going over how to make this. Sound like this. This like this all right now first things first we're going to be using a sample from Lana Del Rey it's called sad girl it came out of a um, a pack that I had downloaded and just uh let me just stop you guys right now I don't remember where I got it from but the song is called Landa Del Rey Sad Girl. So if you wanna, you know, you wanna remake this beat, all you gotta do is get Landa Del Rey Sad Girl, find these chops, and um, just find those two chops and chop it up. I believe in you. I know you could do it. And um, you could go ahead and follow along. Now, this tutorial is going to be the youtube version i'm going to have an expanded in-depth tutorial on studio one tutorials.com where i go over the mixing of of the sample i go over the effects that we use to get the sample to to move a little bit more and um just some more tips and techniques to really to really make sampling sound more interesting because it's not the way that we make music now, it's not in, like in the 90s where all you had to do was loop the sample, play four kicks and two snares and and the rapper rocking out on it is going to be interesting enough. So uh, on the YouTube tutorial for you guys, what I, what I want to focus on is, again, going back to keeping it simple, don't be basic. You can take a loop and keep it interesting by... Once again, and I know I say this in every tutorial, it's all about the subtle variations. So I went ahead and I pitched up the sample. I time stretched the sample and I wound up like, as you could see, as you could see, this sample wasn't, wasn't a perfect loop. So I, I pitched it up, I time stretched it and I wound up, I wound up pitching it up until I got this sound. <laughs> Which is cool. It's a it's a decent loop. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to do was add was add um some type of some type of extra um, melody or sound to the hook so that when it so that when the hook came, um you know if a rapper if a rapper was listening to this in, in the studio or something they knew that there was a hook because that's a really important part of making beats especially if you're making beats to sell to rappers you want to make your hooks. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a complete different beat or anything, but it rappers is don't necessarily don't always know how to count bars, um, believe it or not, and they listen for different instruments to indicate that the hook is there. So what I did was I used the patch from Nexus, just the classical Hollywood brass, you know, keeping it simple. Okay, so the track is in G sharp minor or E or A flat minor, whatever you want to call it. Um and all I did was go from go from the first note in the scale, G sharp to A sharp. And I just wanted to do like a little walk up in the um for the hook section. It's just like a bomb, bomb, 
bump. That's what I was hearing in my head. Um, and that's how I programmed it. Whenever you, whenever you hear something in your head and it's going up, just start out by playing the first three notes in the scale. And if, and if that doesn't sound like it, you know, move your, um, move your second note a little bit further up and then move your third note a little bit further up or down and just keep playing with it till you get something you like. Um, a lot of the times you won't, you won't need to do, um, you know, a lot of crazy variation if you're hearing stuff go up and down. So we wound up with this sound. So once I had that, I moved on to picking a snare. We we just used this. Uh, this is out of uh, this is out of a Beat Generals kit, I think. Let's see. Yeah, that's um the Beat Generals 40 OVO kit. So I mean, any all all that really is is that's an acoustic snare. With an 808 on top of 808 snare on top of it and some some reverb um and i didn't really do nothing too crazy snare wise on this track it's uh i don't there's not even any snare rolls or anything like that nope it's just um you know we're we're in straight time right now 82 beats per minute so my snares are on my twos and my fours for my kick i just programmed a you know regular old hip-hop pattern um this is what it wound up sounding like. Just a regular old, you know, a regular old not a doom, 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 doom. Nothing crazy. If you guys need to, you can screen, you can screenshot that, and it's just, it's just the same pattern over and over again you know once you once you program it once um you can highlight it and just press d d d that's a cool um that's a cool way to to go ahead and make your drums fast um for the hi-hat pattern i went with you know just a just a straight um 16 run but i wanted to you know keep it current so I added, I added a, uh, let's see, I added a, that's a 60, yeah, I added a 64 roll right here. And then in this section here, this section right here, we added a, um, an eighth triplet. And what that does is that just, it, it uh be, because there's you know because it's three notes in the same section as you're expecting to hear the f these four notes it kind of it kind of slows the rhythm down a little bit um something that you're used to hearing in trap but you've got the boom bap drums going on so it's it's a thing where where you've got this beat that if you were you know if you were crusty and you just wanted to make a boom bap fine you could do that but when you use trap techniques in these in in the in this uh tempo 82 um you wind up kind of updating the sound and that's and that's really what you want to do if if you want to make something that has that sampled feel but you don't want to sound dusty so this is what we wound up sounding like here <laughs> And that's just that's the same two bar loop over and over throughout the song um for the kit for the uh i use the i use my custom 808 that i uh i tweak this preset and razor all the time it's called it's called punching the balls um and all it is is i i adjust the release turn the turn the reverb off this and turn the dirt in the drive up on the limiter to get this bass sound. And what I've got going on here is it's I just copied the kicks and I'm playing I'm playing some octaves and some fifths and then I've got um 
a little legato slide over the top of it. Um, nothing too crazy. We'll go over that more in detail on the site. The um, where it starts to get cool is is like I was saying about the subtle variation. So you see, I have these two patterns over and over uh, back to back, and that's the hook. Um, when you're doing when you're doing a track that where you know you're going to have a repetitive sample over and over and over again, but you still want to make an interesting track that people want to rap on, you kind of want to set a goal that when you do your verses, you want to make it so that each um, four bar section of your verse has a change. So what I did was for the for the first section of the verse, I just took I just took my 808. And this is something that i seen on av mccree's channel and he was saying he got it from tm 88 and it's a it's a cool um it's a cool effect is after you get done with your your hook you go into you go into this sound and it's just you, you take an 808 and and you lower the velocity with each one and it sounds like like a bass delay which is something um you know if you're used to making if you're used to making sampled hip hop you wouldn't necessarily think to do like it's not a traditional thing to put a delay on a bass or or an 808 it's just not it's not something that they teach you in school it's not something that a lot of people do but when you hear it done it has a really pleasing effect which is all of that is to say you know you want to go ahead and 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 just kind of throw all the rules out the window especially it's especially when you're working with um you know because this would this would sound great on a trap song but when you bring it when you bring these type of uh mentality into a sample track you're gonna get you're gonna get something amazing every time you know uh, seeing as how uh, sampling is viewed as the foundation of hip-hop you know and then trap is kind of viewed as like Ugh, this other thing um but if you if you take the best elements out you know out of out of both the genres and put them together you're gonna get um this the next sound which is which is kind of the phase that we're moving into um so yeah we just we just took out all the drums all the percussion put this in and when we when we move on to the next section um don't i, I didn't do anything crazy i just put the kick and the snare back in and didn't and didn't use a hi-hat all right then for the section after that i got my kick and my snare and my hi-hat back in the party okay the only thing different here is i took this second um this second hi-hat out and just kind of just kind of added some more rolls into into this pattern that way it's different from this pattern so that way i have a verse hi-hat pattern and i have a hook hi-hat pattern adding more subtle variations to let people know that hey this is a different part of the song even though i've got this repetitive ass sample playing for you know four eight twelve sixteen twenty twenty four bars now there's been no change in music but i've had um we got one two three four different changes in rhythm now i'm getting ready to move on to my fifth change okay and what i did here was i re-chopped the sample and i just did it manually with studio one we'll get more into depth on that on the site and when you when you do this right before a hook it it sort of acts like a pre-hook and it get and it kind of gives the artist um the inclination that it's time to finish up their verse maybe switch up their flow or something like that so when you play the verse all together this is you you have again i want you to pay attention to how repetitive the sample is but how fre but how um how fresh the beat is
See, so it's it slides right into the verse nice. You get you listen to that sixteen bar verse and it doesn't it doesn't even though the sample's looping, it doesn't sound like a repetitive loop, which again, I know I say this a lot, but I'm gonna say it every time it comes to mind. When you make those subtle variations, you take a person's ear because when you're listening to music it's like a puzzle and your and your mind is trying to figure out this puzzle and if you keep on um you know chopping off a puzzle piece when they're you know when they're trying to slide it in you know and and um into the next piece it's going to make a person th it's going to make a person think like wow this is new and they and it's another problem to solve if you think about it like that and that's how you create interest when you're creating music is you keep changing up the puzzle piece you know you you have <clears throat> you think of you think of this this section as a puzzle piece right and you think of a person you know making a puzzle and they're getting they're getting ready like oh this is you know this is the side of the tree i'm gonna put i'm gonna put the side of the tree down but by the time they get here it's like it's like wait a minute this is the lake, you know, and then it's like, hold on, this is the rock at the side of the lake, and this is, oh, and, and, and wait, this looks like a piece of the bench, so while your mind is going through that, what that's really translating into is like, wow, this song is, this, uh, this song is interesting, this song is great, um, so we go on to that, and if you really, if you really want to freak it, you got to remember that, um, when you sample a song, you know, there's, there's three or four minutes in that song you know what i mean so just because you find one good loop doesn't mean you got to stop there you know go ahead and take another section of the song loop that up or chop it and go ahead and make your third verse a completely different part of that sample change your drum pattern change your bass and you know you can when uh when they're expecting that second that second hook to come around give them give them a brand give them a brand new um you know a brand new sa sample or, or a brand new pattern from the same song So again, what you guys want to take away from this tutorial is, you know, go ahead, go ahead when you're sampling, find yourself, you know, challenge yourself. Don't just take one piece of the song, take two pieces of the song, take three pieces of the song. You know what I mean? Um, change up your third verse. Don't make it the same as the first two verses. Put variation of percussion into your verses because that is where the challenge is and that's what the you know the really great producers right now are doing you know nobody's nobody's looping up four bars and relying on the rapper to make a good song anymore you hear it all over you know it all over you know your regular barbershop discussions you hear it on the internet you hear it on twitter hip-hop is moving to a producer dominated genre um the lyrics are becoming less and less less and less i don't want to say important but they're becoming less and less focused on by fans um you know fans are f f fans are more into the beat you know i mean you, you could hear it with um you know with guys like guys like thug and future like a lot of people don't even you know don't really know the words and they don't care you know so um remember you could take those those same um 
kind of tenets um, of trap with the variation of the 808 and the variation of the drum and the constant and the constant changing of the rhythm, put it into a sample based track and kind of help this new generation of of sample based rapper who who is who is you know wanting to you know be a lyricist and use sample tracks but you know not sound stale and old school you know and kind of and and, and kind of use your production talent to kind of bring you know the next rapper who's who's going to be that mega lyricist that wants to use samples but that also needs help sounding current with their production to the forefront so if you want to go more in depth if you want to get into the effects we use in the samples if you want to go and see how we chop the samples if you want to see more about the drums and if you want to get the mix of a sample based track like this explained that doesn't have a lot of instruments but still sounds full go ahead and go over to studio one tutorials.com sign up for a premium membership log in and get access to the exclusive content you'll also get 25 presets for my tie i have an 808 pack that i send you on top of that and i think we got we're up to like 12 hours worth of video over there um a bunch of other stuff so keep it simple don't be basic it's concrete zebra with craft master productions and studio one tutorials.com